for every wrong turn my life took. I thought somebody owed me for every day of freedom that I lost behind these bars. I thought somebody owes me for every day of my childhood that I lost. This woman had been through a long life of hell. The Bible says hers had gone on for 18 years. 18 years of injustice and trauma and turmoil. 18 years of pain without vindication. 18 years of dealing with infirmities while other people were happy and going on with their life and marrying and having children and having a good time and going off to college and buying new homes. 18 years she'd been stuck in a rut. Have you ever gotten stuck? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm with Cass I'm, I'm with Cassie Jordan. I'm with Cassie Jordan. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Straight over there. Eighteen years of being aggravated from everybody. Eighteen years of an affliction in your body, in your mind, in your marriage. Eighteen years of living with a memory, a scar, an agony, and a I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. I believe that the Lord meant for you to hear this message. And I want to give you an opportunity, particularly those of you that don't know the Lord. Maybe those of you who once were in fellowship with the Lord. Maybe those of you who once were in fellowship and you drifted away and you say, I got no mess and I made some mistakes. And did some things I was ashamed of. I didn't even think that God would forgive me until I heard the man of God preaching me. Didn't I? I felt dirty and I didn't think I could be clean. But he started preaching about God's grace and redemption. And, and if he could heal that woman, maybe he could heal me. Maybe there's a brother in the church who's done some terrible things, but she's saying, you know what? I'm ready to make a change. I didn't even realize that he saw me and that he loved me and that he wanted to turn my life around. I want to call you to this altar. Whoever you are, wherever you came from, there's room at the cross. Brother Marcus, play that for the devil. There's room at the cross. And millions have come. I believe that, that God can, can make me whole. I believe he can deliver me. I believe he can set me free. I believe he can fix me. Even me. Even me. I feel him drawing you to the altar and, and you're wrestling yes. and you're saying, well, maybe I'll stay in my seat. No, 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 you got to come. Just like you. I don't worry about people, just come. Come down out of that balcony. Come down from the back row to the front row. God wants to turn your life around. He's coming. He's coming. He's able to deliver you. Come right now. There's room at the cross. Backslider! Hey! Talking to you. Come on down. Come on. Come on down. Come on. You need this word. You need a good anointed church like this where you can get the word of God and be set free and be healed. Healed. Healed of your issues and your angers and your dilemmas. Heal. 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 Heal me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. I want to be loosed. I want to be free. I want to get over it. Touch me, Lord. There's room at the cross for you. Room at the cross. Room at the cross. Come on down. My God, people are coming from everywhere. Somebody ought to clap your hands. Somebody's mama's coming to the Lord. Somebody's little girl is coming to the Lord. Somebody's dad is coming to the Lord. Somebody's son is coming to the Lord today.
I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Michelle, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I feel him drawing you to the altar. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everything uh, happened so fast. I mean, I never saw it coming. And don't get me wrong, I've got faults, just like the next man. But I was working on them. I just needed a little more time. There was so much that I wanted to say to Michelle, and to Cassie, and to God. But I just ran out of time. I was trying to start a new life. I just needed a little more time. I don't understand how God could forgive a man like that. I don't understand why I should forgive a man like that. But now I do. You can never really get even. What I did was wrong. No matter what he did to me, it was wrong. <sighs> when you talk to God again, ask him to forgive me. I know I can't bring the life back. Tell my mother that I love her and that I forgive her. Tell her that I've always loved her. And I hope we can get to know No matter what I felt, I didn't have the right to take something from her. Just pray for me. I've been praying. I've been praying for a little girl. I've been praying. I've been praying that she wouldn't give up and that somehow you'd get through this. I've been praying that you wouldn't allow these bars and this chaos and all of this stuff destroy your spirit. But now I know, I know she's alive and well. And I know in my heart, Michelle, you're gonna how you're gonna make it through this. I know it in my heart. Stay free. Stay free, Michelle, you hear me?